Hello everyone. Today we will talk very brief about the change detection techniques. Change detection is somewhat a difficult task uh, and the uh, work depends on the objectives uh, and those objectives uh, determine the method of light or shooting. Different methods have been developed for change detection in remote sensing. Um, atoms have also been made to classify the change detection methods. Today we are trying to interpret raster algebra method and color composite methods. These are the most simple and easy methods that can be applied. Um, this again is not an in-depth method, but a very brief guide uh, related to it. Here we have the two color images from different dates, uh, 2021, 2018, and 2017. Um, these are the sentinel two images uh, from somewhere from Nepal. Uh, we can see the clouds here. Uh, they are distinctly present. Um, one of them is appear very bright, and the other one is a little dark. And the third one is okay. Uh, these are this is due to some enhancements and won't be any problem, I guess. We have also calculated uh, three NDVIs uh, from the three different dates uh, from Jan January 2021, January 2018, and 2017. Um, so we can see. The clouds itself have a negative NDVI values. Um, from raster calculator, from raster calculator here, from raster, raster calculator, uh, we subtract uh, two NDVIs, uh, 2017 from 2021. And this is the reason why we call it raster algebra methods. So here we see the subtraction of two different NDVIs. So yeah, what we can interpret is a uh, value near to zero uh, that is seen as yellow can be considered as no change or little change. Uh, the two extremes are due to the clouds here and might not be as suggestive uh, as we saw the presence of clouds uh, in the true color image. Uh, the values uh, lighter green might mean there has been additional or positive change in 2021. Uh, it might be due to the additional uh, greenness, uh, as this is the case for NDVI. Uh, the values in the orange mean something in 2017 has been reduced. Uh, the value in 2017 was greater, uh, which now is lower in uh, 2021. So if we zoom in somewhere uh, here, although the NDVI is mostly used for understanding the change in greenness, uh, if we look at the uh, reverse sides, um, it is interpreted to guess that uh, there has been some changes uh, in the river areas as well. Uh, similarly, we can also use uh, bitemporal color composites. Uh, we can do that from raster. We go to um, miscellaneous and we build virtual raster. So here we have uh, 2017 as. Um, 2017 as red, uh, and other uh, in in other bands we have 2021. So the yellow in general means uh, equal number of presence of red and green intensity. Uh, the river networks has appeared black. However, the cloud areas uh, have again played roles, appearing as the major presence in the whole image. These are the clouds here. Similarly, we have 2018 as red. Uh, and similarly, here's also the presence of clouds here. Similarly, we can use multi-temporal color composites uh, with different dates and different color bands. Here we have 2017 as red and other years as 2018 as green and 2021 as blue. The colors um, yellow are somewhat uh, bluish, pinkish, um, and other uh, uh, the bluish and the pinkish colors are uh, are, are the indicating making the chains. Uh, for however, for this image, uh, we have only the presence of clouds. So only the cloud has been detected. Um, uh, what I can say is that uh, this has not been a good change detection. Uh, so um, I can also comment that, like NDVI, uh, other indices such as uh, NIR, such as uh, normalized bond ratio, which uses uh, NIR and SWIR. Near infrared and sort of infrared um, can also be used. 
and uh, other indices such as enhanced patient index could be used as repeating the same process. Um, or, or the, the most important thing here is that the cloud images or seasons, um, which where there are no clouds, uh, such images could have been used. Uh, I think the time frame is also used. We have used uh, 2018 to 2021, uh, I think, which is uh, very short um, time frame to be certain that there has been uh, some changes. Uh, and, and the other thing is, uh, for this purpose, we are working uh, in the whole image. Uh, we could have clipped the rest uh, by a particular area of interest, making it more interpretive. Um, I should add that the visual interpretation was also difficult. Um, I was zooming in uh, before preparing this. Um, so overall, this was a very, a very brief general attempt to very brief attempt um, to understand the chain detection. Um, again, there are many methods that can be applied based on literature. Uh, in future, I'll try to explore other methods as well and try to create contents uh, related to it. I hope this was helpful, uh, at least for at least some extent. Um, so thank you for watching.